chapter 10. I'm just going to read uh, two verses here, and then we're going to pray, and then you may be seated. Verse 12 says, Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. Yes. Verse 13. There is no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, yes. who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with that temptation, he will also make the way of escape yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. that you may be able to to bear it. Spirit of the living God, Lord, we ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, speak to us, Lord. We are going through all types of things in this day and time. God, but we know that your word is the answer, Lord. Have your way, God, on the ears and the hearts, Lord, of your people that are here. Help us to make application of this awesome word that you have left for us, this road map. In the name of Jesus, God, let someone in the name of Jesus, Lord, feel you, Lord, sense you, God. Let them call out to you right now, Jesus. Lord, you know what they're facing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I am as comfortable as uh, delivering the word of God with music as without. For it was several years, those who were up under the church of the true and living God, that we didn't have it. Amen. 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 I think it's important that we, as the people of God, uh, always be able to make some type of joyful Amen. noise yes. unto the Lord, to allow God to know that we're not uh, inanimate objects, uh, but we have a voice, God, and uh, we are grateful, Lord, that you have allowed us to be here today. And I think that's why it behooves us from time to time to get up and to shake ourselves. Amen. 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 Uh, to allow and to tell someone, I'm glad you made it. Yes. Amen. Amen. I believe uh, that one of the messages for this current society, uh, or the message that should be hurled out in this day and time from every pulpit, is to never, ever, ever give up. Amen. 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 As we see um, the world in the condition in which it's in, and we uh, are seeing with our own true eyes just all types of uh, dismay in the land happen to be up kind of late. About 2.05 a.m. this morning, and I heard a series of gunshots. Mm -hmm. And as, you know, my window was open, because it got a little warm yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I heard a series of gunshots, and all I could do was lay there and say, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that it's not another dead person. Mm -hmm. We are living in those times, times when there's all type of mayhem and chaos on every side. Mm -hmm. And I believe that it is imperative or important, if you will, uh, that we, the church, don't go and bury our head in the sand. Mm -hmm. We see these things. We shouldn't go home and act indifferent uh, when we hear of people losing their lives at young age and, and seeing different things. And whereas people uh, have this have this uh, tendency to feel. 
feel as though there's no hope. Yeah. Have you been there? Yeah. Uh, when you felt as though that there was no hope, that there was no way out. Have you been uh, in the middle of a situation and felt like if I can just talk to folks that just want to be truthful, I feel like taking your own life. That's not something that just happens in the world. Because we who were in the world came out of the world and came into the church. And we understand emphatically uh, what the devil tried to whoop on us. Someone say amen. amen. We understand what he tried to do. And so with that, there is so much around us. And I've said this on several occasions, and I'll probably go out saying it, that's trying to consume us on every chance that it gets. Is there any witnesses in here? Uh, if I can get at least five folks, five that's willing to talk back throughout this sermon, uh, which uh, it allow me to know that you can identify with the writings of Paul. Someone say amen. Yeah. Uh, so for a subject and for a thought, if you will, if you can look at your neighbor and if you can really, you know, look at them, look at them, that's a real person um, that's sitting next to you or if you have to turn around, look at that person, they are real. Mm -hmm. These are people that have gone through something. Come on, man. Uh, they may not ever tell you their whole story, on, amen. Right. But right. you know that they yeah. do have a story. Yeah. Someone say amen. amen. Yeah. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, I'm praying for you. I'm praying, I'm praying for you today yeah. because yeah. I know you need yeah. some yeah. prayer. Somebody yeah. say amen. Yeah. 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 Uh, There's only those of us who come up through the portals uh, thinking that we are more uh, sanctimonious than what we really are. Uh, we know every day that we get up and speak in tongues and lay down and thank God for another day that we still need prayer. So I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah. Because we understand had it not been for God on our side that uh, we shouldn't even be here. Amen. Uh, it's okay. We talk we talk back here. Look at somebody and say, I know you shouldn't be here. <laughs> so don't act like you should. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, we just real down to earth folk. Amen. Uh, we, we don't wear no big hats yet. Amen. Uh, we may not be uh, driving no Bentley yet. Ah, uh, but we know which side our bread is buttered on. Someone say amen. Someone say amen. amen. Uh, we don't want to walk out of here the same way we came Come in. On, amen. On. And if I can speak for myself, sometimes a little muddied. Amen, somebody. Uh, but when I come into the house of the Lord, realizing that I have no reason to be able to get up this morning except be it for the almighty God. I got to come up in here with a praise. Amen. Ah, yeah. He's going to bring you through. 
You thought you was going to just die out in that last one. And you still here. Someone say amen. Now yeah. uh, with all of our mess ups and mix ups and hiccups. Someone say amen. Now yeah. uh, you ought to look at somebody and say you ain't perfect. <laughs> you ain't perfect. You ain't got it all together. But God will bring you through. Is there a believer in the house today? for the hour uh, to the hopelessness uh, the message for the hour to the discouraged and the downtrodden and uh, those who watch the video that are full of despair is that you don't have to take yourself out of here hallelujah God's going to bring you through you ought to high five your own self somebody next to you don't believe you We are fighting as the book of Ephesians has declared them to us. Somewhere, yeah, it was in the sixth chapter. Uh, for we are wrestled not against mm -hmm. flesh and blood. Someone say amen. amen. Uh, but our fight, our wrestle, is not with the things that we can see. Uh, but our fight and our wrestle is against the unseen uh, forces that we have to deal with. Amen. That's where our fight is. Your fight is not with your spouse. Someone say amen. amen. Uh, but your fight is against the things that are trying to malign your spouse. Someone say amen. amen. Uh, the fight is not against the school system, yeah. which seemingly wants to be corrupt every third Thursday. But the fight is against the acts of those in the unclean spirits that are operating behind the school system. Someone say amen. amen. Ah, you ought to look at somebody and say, I know you like me. <laughs> I know you like me. Amen. You may not just like the, some of the stuff that I've been a part of. Someone say amen. Uh -huh, but our fight is against the principalities. Uh, those governing systems that seems to want to govern our world. But yet they don't realize that there is a God who yet governs them. Someone say amen. amen. Our fight is against those principalities and those powers and against the rulers of the darkness of the this world. Someone say amen. amen. We want to believe in God, but we don't want to believe in the devil. Someone say amen. amen. Ah, you ought to look at somebody and say, if you believe in God, amen. you should also believe that there's a hairy, burly devil too. Someone say amen. amen. He's real. Amen, somebody. Amen. And for those of us who have come out of his dark world and have stepped in into the marvelous light. It allows us to understand without a shadow of doubt that the enemy is real and he's after me and you and you. I don't care how cute you are. Amen somebody. He's after all of us who have been named the name of Christ. Someone Somebody say amen. amen. Mm, for a chronicle says, for if my people, which are called by my name, would turn around and humble themselves, somebody say amen. amen. Ah, if the enemy could suggest to us that someone's life will never get better, he does that. How many of us is a witness? Had he ever whispered to you? And I'm not just talking BC. I'm talking about uh, AD2. Has he ever whispered to you and said that you will never come through? You will never come out. You will always be miserable. But if I can get just two folks to stand up today and say he lied, just stand up and sit on that guy. Stand up and sit on that guy. Because we understand that God is able. So 
want to say amen. Oh, uh, we got a lot of folks looking for a lot of things. And we got a lot of people saying a lot of things. But what do you say about your God? What are you looking for? Are you going out, uh, even as the scripture says, and you're looking for someone who has this particular raiment on? Are you listening to the voice that's in the wilderness beckoning you to come in? Somebody ought to say, I'm so glad that even in the midst of my trouble, my misery, I realize that I ain't going out like this. I ain't going out like this. Is there anybody in the house today that has a word in their belly, in their prophetic belly, that I ain't going out like this? Somebody look at somebody. I'll stop being so cute. Look at somebody and say I ain't going out like this. The word of God that even though the enemy wants to suggest that it will not get better, I'm here to remind somebody that I ain't been perfect the whole 29 years. And I ain't trying to claim that I have. You ought to look at somebody and say, You ain't been perfect either. You've done a few things that you wish that if you had the opportunity that you could just crawl on back in that closet. Someone say amen. Oh, but God is speaking in this hour that he is reminding us that he's going to be the one that brings us through. Ain't Mamie and Big Mama and Big Pappy and Big Daddy they ain't gonna be able to do it. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it'll be by the strong right arm of God that you come through that thing. Is there a witness in here right now? He went on to tell as I began to search and I began to pray and I went on and I found something. And they tell me that suicide is the third killer of young folks right now. Someone say amen. That's why you can't come in here and don't tell your real testimony. There's a few of us that try to take ourselves out that we ought to be able to be the witness to someone that's at that point right now and say baby don't take yourself out don't take no pills take no gun take whatever you won't use to take yourself out there is a God and his name is Jesus and he is able to bring you through whatever you're facing put your hands together and give God some praise right now to say, you want to remind them, don't take themselves out. Because the devil is always trying to do stuff. He's always trying to make folk think that that's the way out. Someone say amen. You ought to be if there's a couple folks stand on your feet right now. Because you need to intercede for someone that's sitting here on this day or out there. And let them know that's not the way out. God promised in the beginning that he would bring you through. And he's not a God that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he needs to repent over anything he has to say. How about your neighbor and say, neighbor, keep it moving. God is able to bring you through. Put your hand it just doesn't stop with our young folk. We see that damnable spirit that has crawled up and crawled on, not just young folk, but also older folk. Someone say amen. You ought to look at somebody and say, we're going to get there. Just come on and go with 
because it has crawled up on some of the adults that made it seem like the devil making it seem like they would be better off not here. But he's a liar and the father of every lie that has ever been told. He's the lie's daddy. Someone say amen. He don't want you to come out, come forth, come up, go down. Someone say amen. But you ought to put your hands together right where you are and say, I heard you, I heard you, I heard you. The devil wants us to think that it's not going to get no better, but it's already better. Someone say amen. As a man thinketh, so is he. If your mind stays in the gutter, stays in the basement, you never go up to the third floor. Someone say amen. The Bible, 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 it tells us that great is he that is inside us. Someone say amen. Then he that's in the world. I don't know about you, but I come through many types of trials and temptations, but God is still faithful. Someone say faithful. Someone say faithful. I want you to understand that your boo cannot be faithful like God. I want you to understand that your your boss on your job don't care about you the way God cares. Someone say amen. I want you to understand that mama loves you, but mama can't treat you the way God cares. Is there a witness in the house that you ever been sick and laid up to death? But God stopped by your hospital room, stopped by your bedroom, stopped by your living room and said you shall not die, but you shall live. You're going to always be by yourself. You ought to look at them in their eye and say that's not true. Because God said the man that findeth him a wife shall find himself a good day. Now you ought to be able to look and say this is a good day. Someone say it. Yeah. They had to follow Moses. 
that that man put you through. I dare you to wave your hand in the air. And wave it like you just don't care. Someone say amen. Someone say amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I cut up this morning. Yeah. <laughs> 
to acquiesce down to the devil's level. Somebody say amen. amen. We don't have to give in. Capitulate. Mm -hmm. Ain't no need in surrendering with all that Holy Ghost you got. Someone say amen. amen. With all that stuff you've been through. You don't have to surrender. Hallelujah to the enemy and what he has to say about you. What do you say about you? What do you say? What do you say about yourself? What have you been speaking over yourself? Come on now. You, I said, well, you know what, Pastor Remember, I haven't been saying anything. That's the problem. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Pastor. That's the problem. You know, just like they say, only God can judge me. That should make you afraid. Come on. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. Only Amen. God can judge you. Yes. That should bother you. Mm. That should bother us. Mm -hmm. Because when he starts mm -hmm. to judge, Ooh. come on. It starts yeah. in the house. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody say amen. 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 It starts in the 